So, our next speaker, Harry? Can you do that in five? Yes. Steve? Yes. We learned Harry Passwell about Python Anywhere. Okay, hi everyone. My name is Harry. Uh, I work for a company called Python Anywhere, uh, um, uh, which I'd like to talk to you about now. Um, so, uh, in general, we all love coding Python, uh, and I was wondering whether I could interview a few people and ask, um, for example, uh, you, sir, what is your favorite place to code Python? Uh, my office. Perfect. Okay, and uh, over here, you, ma'am, what is your favorite place to code Python? Starbucks. Okay, but sometimes, you know, uh, we like are able to code on our office, we can code on our laptops, we can code around the place, but sometimes there are places where we would like to code Python, but we're not actually able to. So, for example, you, sir, can you imagine a place where you can't currently code Python, but you'd like to be able to? On myself? What's that? You'd like to be able to code Python after a 36-hour whiskey and Red Bull binge in a Thai internet cafe? Well, yeah, that happens to me all the time as well. <laughs> Um, how about some other people over here? I don't know. How about you, sir? What would you be your favorite place to code Python? You can't currently do it. What's that? Shortly after winning a marathon and you've been given uh, an iPad as a prize and uh, in a sense of elation you'd like to code an app to express your joy at winning the marathon but you can't currently code Python on an iPad. Well, that happens to me too all the time. And... Um, <laughs> Um, all sorts of other people would like to code more Python. We talk to teachers who would like their students to code more Python, but they don't have it on their PCs. Um, we talk to, uh, for example, are there any data scientists in the room? Any data scientists? Uh, okay, let me just ask you, sir. You would like to be able to code more Python on more PCs, is that right? Yes. But you have some dependencies? Many. Okay, like, um, for example, you might have dependencies like SciPy and NumPy and PyFids and BioPython and Pandas and SimPy and scikits.learn and scikits.sat models and scikits.time series and LXML and um, I've got a few more here, an MLPy and an LTK. <laughs> We install about 500 packages. Anyway, it is possible there is a solution to this. We like to code Python in our desks, in our offices. We would like to code Python anywhere. We would like to code Python everywhere. And we are building a website to let you do that. Hopefully, I have two minutes left to show you some screenshots of all this. There's no way I'm doing a live demo, but I have pre-prepared a bunch of screens. OK. <laughs> What are we currently showing on the screen? That's not too bad. Alt tab, okay, what about uh, the front page? Looks like that. It's got a front page. Uh, control. <laughs> page down. How about this, how about this? Supposing you built a tutorial and you'd like your students to be able to do Python right there on your tutorial, we'll give you an embeddable live console that you can plug into your tutorial and let people follow through an actual live console right there uh, on your tutorial. What else? <laughs> Okay, here's your front page. You can launch all sorts of consoles, Python 2.6, Python 2.7, 3.3, compiled brand new and fresh every single month. IPython in those three flavors, PyPy, Bash. You can have MySQL consoles. You get 500 megs of personal storage. You've got a full Bash prompt that's active and it's got color. You can have IPython. You can print Hello World. That actually works. You can use VI in a web browser. <laughs> You can also use Emacs. <laughs> There's a full set it syntax highlighting text editor. Um, it even gives you uh, uh, what you would call them, Pyflakes warnings about import errors and stuff like that. There are none in my code, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You've got a full uh, free web app with every single account that you can have at uh, your username.pythonanywhere.com. That's just free out of the box. We've got quick starts for Django and Flask and bottle.py and all sorts of web frameworks. Um, we've got uh, schedule tasks if you want to kind of run cron jobs and do web scraping. Uh, we've got uh, MySQL connectivity and databases. That comes in the free accounts as well. And uh, as I say, we've got a few modules for all you data scientists and people that might want some installed packages. Here is the list. It goes on and 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 on. That is Python Anywhere, www.pythonanywhere.com. Come and check it out. Love you all. It's been a fantastic conference. I am so happy to be here. You guys are all amazing. Big up all yourselves. Bye bye. Harry Pessimal, everybody. Python Anywhere. You can take your laptop with you. You may want to take your computer, Harry. <laughs> and there's still know, 40 seconds left. <laughs> You know, I'm so glad we don't do commercial pitches at PyCon. <laughs>